Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to view the full page URL in your Google Analytics reporting. So this will come in handy if you have roll-up reporting under a specific reporting view. For example, you have multiple views here. You might have a marketing reporting view specifically for, for marketers, or you might have reporting views split up into specific sections of your website or some other cases but if you have a master reporting view where you want all of this data or you want multiple domains or subdomains reporting to this view this is where viewing the full page URL will come in handy so by default if you look under the behavior section in the left navigation and then go to site content and all pages by default this is what you see so this right here is the the home page but if you have multiple domains reporting to this reporting view you can't differentiate what domain this belongs to. So this could be, or you can't differentiate what percentage of the page views belong to which domain. And same for the rest of the pages. So in order to configure these reports to show the full URL, what you'll do is go to the left, the bottom left corner here to click on the gear and go to the admin section. Now in this admin section, under the right column, the view column, go to filters. And we're going to use a filter where this will process the data before it actually is shown in the Google Analytics reports. So this page shows us what filters are applied to this reporting view. And as you can see, currently there are no filters applied here. So we're going to click on add filter and it'll bring us to this section where we can configure a new filter. So I'm going to use this filter name, full URL rewrite, and then in parentheses, domain plus URI. I'll explain what URI means in a minute here, but basically this is a clear filter name, which indicates the function of the filter and how this filter works with the parentheses here for domain and URI. Now, under filter type, I'm going to choose custom. And you can see these radio buttons. I'm going to choose advanced for field A, extract to A. I'm going to select a field and select host name. And in the field, I'm going to type parentheses dot asterisk so that'll grab the entire field for any character that appears any repeating characters it'll just grab the entire field and then for field B to ex extract B select field and choose re request your eye now, this is different from URL. Basically, a request URI or URI is just an identifier. And the URL is the location of the content. So basically, the URL is a subset of a URI. Think of it as the URI being 
the name of a person. So the name identifies who the person is. And then the URL being the location could be the address, you know, where the person lives or where the person locates. So the URL is also an identifier, but the URI is solely an identifier and the URL is the location specifically. So both are, are identifiers, but URL is a subset of the URI. And for this field, we're going to use the same dot asterisk in the field. And then for this output to constructor, we're going to use request URI again. And in the field, we're going to type dollar sign capital A1 dollar sign capital B1. And so what this dollar sign means is it tells the filter that it wants to match to the end of the field that is referenced. So for field A, it wants to reference the entire expression. And this number tells the filter that it wants the first parentheses. Now there's only one set of parentheses, but we still only want to let the filter know that it should just grab the first set of parentheses. And then the same for field B. We want field A required, we want field B required, and override output field. So check those three and then we'll click on save. Scroll up and you can see the filter name here so we can tell what this filter does and how it works. Also the filter type. And there are two other filters that we want to add. So let's create those. The first one or the next one we'll add is a lowercase filter. So we'll call this lowercase URI. Filter type, select custom, and then select lowercase. And for the filter field, select request URI and save this filter, scroll up, and you can see the rank, the order of the filters. So the full URL rewrite will be the first filter that it is applied, and once that, and once the data passes through that filter, then the lowercase URL, or the lowercase URI will be applied. And the last filter we want to add is to remove the ww dot prefix. So here we'll choose custom for the filter type and then select search and replace. For the field we want request URI and in the search string field we're going to use this expression. So this expression is telling the filter that we're going to match to the beginning of the field with this char character and look for www and this backslash is an escape character or we want the literal meaning of this period. So if there's no escape character and there's only this period, then the expression will just look for any single character. That's the function of the period, but we don't want that. We just want to look for 
the www and then a literal period. So that's why we're using this escape character. And for the replace string, this is optional and we'll leave it blank because we just want to remove this string. So it'll just replace it with nothing. And I'm actually going to rename this to remove request URI www dot prefix. So I'll save that, scroll back up, and these are the three URL or URI filters that will be applied to our data moving forward. So let's test this out and we'll go to our, our test website here, load the site, and then go to our real-time report, click on overview, and there's our active page. It gives us the full URL. So now we can see the domains and the pages that belong to those domains in our Google Analytics reports. So check out the website in the description if you want more content around configuring your Google Analytics account or if you want to learn more about analytics and reporting. And if you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next episode.